Hey guys, so figured uh, since it's a big collection, a bunch of pictures is kind of tough. So I thought I'd do a quick uh, video tour of the man cave, so to speak. So my name's Michael Beck. Nice to meet you guys. Um, this is the entryway to go to my magical land. Uh, this is kind of where things are starting to spill out. So I'm running out of room. This is my fiance. She's going to straight kill me if I keep adding more crap. Um, so let's go up to the office. She's, she's, she's being nice and patient, but really pissed. Um, yeah, so first, uh, when you come up, you're gonna see a collection of starships, of the bigger ones. Um, there's also kind of some room here, so I put these stormtroopers down here, and this one's chasing R2-D2 with a flamethrower. <laughs> some extra statues, um, and then coming into the entryway. So as you come up the stairs, you have a life-size flashing gremlin saying hi. And uh, why not put Jiminy Cricket there? He needs a conscience, right? Um, Moving into the rest of it, so I'll start here. Try to make you, not make you guys too dizzy. Uh, so this is Sideshow Yoda. Uh, he has a variation where he's lifting the rocks where he has his eyes open and not. Uh, this is the legendary figure from Sideshow. Uh, Optimus Prime and some Bumblebee. Yeah, I'm mixing my uh, sci-fi here. And I even threw in Battleship Yamato uh, for extra measure. So uh, there's more Star Wars stuff coming. This is the uh, build a, build your own arcade stand. This is the original uh, arcade Star Wars game. Vector graphics, all that stuff. It's uh, amazing. The controllers, when you use them, will if you're an older guy like me, will take you back in time. A little slice of crumb at the top. Um, and then this is kind of my legion of villains. Uh, Mumra, sideshow. Captain Hook, sideshow. And Skeletor, sideshow. Uh, and then starting into some Deadpool. So up here is the top of the Deadpool section. We got the Sideshow Deadpool Dodging Missile. We got the life-size Deadpool Bust. Um, and then a lot of, I wouldn't even call them smalls, but mediums, but compared to the size of the busts and the other Sideshow pieces, they all look kind of small. So look at, this shelf is just all different kinds of third wall breaking, amazing. Look at him, right? Um, Deadpools. So I like, I'm, I'm a Deadpool fan. I have a little minion Deadpool, some Pikachu Deadpool. I like variations, Samurai Deadpool, Lady Deadpool. I think you get it. Um, then some mixed pop culture stuff. So I like Assassin's Creed, a little bit Maximum Desmus from Gladiator and the Helmet, uh, Hot Fuzz, and then a nod back to D&D, the original cartoon, Presto and Dungeon Master, uh, and then Bobby and Uni. Um, a little bit of Muppets because they were a big part of my life. So Animal and Scooter. Pinky in the brain for when I want to take over the world. The Swedish chef for my idiot, inner idiot chef. chef. And of course, for my inner scientist, Beaker. Um, and then some nods to Bob's Burgers. There's some, even some artwork back there. Uh, a little Ren Stimpy. Some Wallace and Gromit. Uh, SpongeBob and a Golden Pineapple. Merman, Ma Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy in the Invisible Boat Mobile. Skeksis and a actual Dark Crystal. Um, and then some stuff I like... Uh, a lot of Conan and Frank Franzetta. So there's some Death Dealer and the Frost Giants. Uh, this is actually Bubo the Owl from uh, Clash of the Titans. Uh, and then the Leonidas Spear from uh, Assassin's Creed. Then we get to the uh, more starting into the Avengers se section. So we got a whole, um, he's gonna kill me, Thor, uh, Mjolnir. Uh, and then we have the uh, Thor with uh, uh, Mjolnir and Stormbreaker uh, beating the crap out of Surtis Skull, it looks like. Um, and then some miscellaneous uh, Thor with a little bit of Loki running off being silly. Um, figured I'd put a little homage to Stan Lee, the, the founder of the feast. So he is retired in a tropical paradise with Deadpool and his uh, toy unicorn. So that's that. Um, signs all over the place, right? So I got these from, Dis these are from Displate. I think they do a really good job, but be careful if you buy them because if the, uh, they fail, they fall, and these signs are metal, and they're literally guillotines. I've had them chop apart my, my pieces before, so be real careful hanging those. Uh, I got a life-size beholder st statue. It is it is big. This is me. That is it. Um, so, uh, like many of us, I started gaming by playing D&D, so I thought I'd do an homage or nod there. Um, here is a Avengers uh movie poster my friend was really nice he went to a uh, comic Pont con and got it all signed by every single cast member including stan lee uh, uh and joss whedon um homemade sign i got from etsy some iron man stuff a little bit of uh captain not me, dr strange and captain marvel um black panther not my favorite but i still like black panther some more displays 
the metal uh, Marvel Legends shield. Um, this one's really cool. This is the original script for Avengers 1 signed by the entire cast, Joss Whedon and Stanley as well. Um, and then we got some bigs, right? So we got the big Thanos glove, little baby Thanos holding a balloon. Um, I did finally get the Thanos maquette throne, so I'm not sure where I'm going to put that yet. Here's some Thanos smalls by uh, Iron Studios. A little nod to Mario. That's probably going to go away. Um, this was really nice. I think this is Diamond Select. I love the look on him. He looks almost like a gorilla. Uh, a little nod to Futurama. I'm a big fan of Matt Groening and anything he's done. And then some Guardians of the Galaxy's nod with Groot. The sort of Groots and Rockets. Uh, and then we get to Cap, who's probably one of my favorites. Um, so you guys have probably seen these before. Any of us with these man caves have probably seen a lot of these stacks before. Do like the ones that are different, right? Um, Agent Coulson's collectible cards covered in blood. Love that. His badge. How fun. A um, little bit of Civil War, right? So Captain and Iron Man getting it on, fighting. Tony Stark's badge. Uh, then this is a sideshow piece. Another cool sideshow piece. And then two Spider-Mens. I'm probably going to break this out into its own Spider-Man section. Uh, a little bit of Venom action. I like this because he's literally crawling out of the cupboard, holding on side and kind of ripping himself loose. Uh, Spider-Man section down there. Uh, a little nod to Borderlands. Uh, a little nod to the South Park crew for their uh, RPG uh, fractured butthole. Um, and then we have Iron Man section, which is going to get better. Uh, we have more Ant-Man is at capacity. Love this one, the expanding statue. I think that's a great visual. Um, then we have Star-Lord's area with his helmet. And then Captain's area, including Captain Minions and his arch nemesis, the Red Skull. Um, what else? Then we get over here, uh, kind of like Studio Ghibli. So I got some pet chinchillas that live in here. But on top of that are some excess pieces. So we got the Green Goblin flying around throwing pumpkins. Or is it Hobgoblin? No, oh, Hobgoblin's over here. He's ripping Spider-Man's costume apart. Really cool. Uh, again, more Civil War with Captain and Iron Man duking it out. Uh, a little bit of more Matt Groening, right? So Itchy and Scratchy doing what they do best, destroying each other. Oh, my! Um, and then the Ireland of Dr. Hibbert at all the Simpsons, which is kind of fun. Um, Rick and Morty section. I right, love this. It's kind of my favorite part of the whole thing. If I lost it all, I'd want to keep this. Um, and then a Fallout section. Some weapons, a lot of bobbleheads. Uh, build yourself, Pip Boy. That was a fun project. Uh, giant Pickle Rick. And then we get back into Marvel. So everybody loves sharing their Wolverine with the pool uh, in the pool hall fight. Uh, small Hulk Gladiator. Hulk versus Wolverine. Seen a lot of this. Um, more Hulk Gladiator and Thor. My favorite, the big Hulk gladiator, squishing Squidipus monster. Um, I do have the large, same size, uh, 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 good God, I'm forgetting his name, Joggernaut coming that's going to be sitting over here. So uh, that Wolverine statue and the Joggernaut statue will be in front of this painting together, which will kind of make sense. Uh, Chevy Chase. Big fan of Fletch, so yeah, I, had, I bought this at auction. He signed it, and that's the original shirt he wore in the movie. Kind of cool. Little lion -O, some more starships. There's more starships down there, too. Um, and then my workstation. Got Captain America colors running right now. Three screens, standing desk, kind of fun. Little nod to Slimer and Ghostbusters. And then kind of a relaxation spot here, and then a bag chair relaxation spot over there. And then when I want to go back to being normal, I got my house on the Wawa uh, on the river here in Tampa, Florida. So anyways, that's that's my office. Uh, I know I got a lot of work to do, but uh, it's, it's a labor of love. Oh, by the way, cool, forgot this one. For the Silence of the Lambs fans, I have a real death's head moth. All right, nice and creepy, super fun. Anyways, man cave, my rules, no sitting in my chair, keep your hands off the remote, yada, yada, yada. Thanks for joining mine. Hope you guys have a great day. Comment as you see fit. Bye.